Elveron, it's Friday. You know what that means. Even more new products. We've got a bunch of little things to talk about this week, so let's jump right in and see what we've got for this week. If you thought that we carried enough LEDs, you would be wrong. Um, we have even more LEDs this week. We've got three new types. These are actually self-changing LEDs. We've got them in this um, big 10 millimeter, the five millimeter size, and then the three millimeter size. You might be able to tell here, I've got actually two of each. I've got two of the tens, two of the fives, two of the threes. And the difference between these guys is that they um, change at different rates. So we've got a fast changing and a slow changing. And I've got a little breadboard set up here to show you the difference. Let's start out first with this guy. This is um, the big 10 millimeter. All of these are RGB self-changing. So I'm just gonna plug this in. And this is the fast changing one. As you can see, it's rapidly cycling through different colors and then blinking. These are good for, um, I don't know, indicating an error state or you know some kind of LED that you want attention being brought to it. Um, but let's say you don't necessarily wanna have in your program code a blink that's actually physically blinking this LED, you just want the LED to do it on its own. So you don't have to program a blink into there, you can just have it blink on its own. Let's look at what the slow one looks like. So as you can see, it has much more gradual change in between the colors. Red, green, blue, and then it'll go back. Let's get a comparison and see what the smaller ones look like. This is the five millimeter. Let's see if this is the fast or the slow. Yeah, it looks like the slow one. So same thing, just cycling through slowly, and you know, it's a little bit smaller, so it's a, not as bright as the big 10 millimeter. So that means this is going to be the fast five millimeter. So you can see same behavior as the big 10, just blinks through all the different colors rapidly. And then finally, the same thing, but in the little three millimeter size. So not as bright, a little bit smaller, but same behavior, this is the fast. And then lastly, we've got the slow three millimeter. Like I said, these are great because they don't need any programming to blink. So if you've got a um, status or some sort of indicator that you want to flash or change color, you can use these without any code. And for all you e-textiles people, you can use these just as a normal LED and you don't have to do any programming, any code, no microcontroller. You just apply power, throw on a you know, current limiting resistor, and they just cycle through colors like this. They can make some interesting little patterns. Next up, we've got this. This is a paint pen from Bear Conductive. Bear Conductive are the um, fine folks that provide us with the conductive paint in the little um, containers. Now they've come out with it in this um, little pen form factor. So if we unscrew the top, that's your tip. Pretty simple. And uh, let me just grab a post-it note to show you how this applies. You just give it a little pressure. And there you go. You've got a conductive trace. And it dries, you know, kind of with a little bit of dome. It needs to go on a little bit thicker. But once that dries, it'll be a conductive trace. So you can connect LEDs, resistors, things like that. This week, we also have a couple of um, kits from them. There's the house kit and the greeting card kit. Um, it comes with all the things you need to put together this little kit, which would be a greeting card or this little um, light-up house. Um, they're more like um, crafty kits than an electronics kit, um, but it's good for kids, um, good for gifts, things like that. And they each come with um, the conductive paint, some LEDs, some um, resistors, things like that. And you basically cut them and put them together and um, there you go, you have this little thing. So. If you're interested in doing anything with um, conductive paint or you know, making your own traces, um, check out the Bare Conductive Paint Pen. Check these guys out. These are very large four-digit seven-segment displays. We've actually got them in five different colors. We've got a red, a blue, an orange, a green, and a white. Um, and they're, they're fantastic. These are um, one inch tall, and as you can see, they're pretty good sized. Um, these actually fit well onto an Arduino. We've got an Arduino right here to show you some scale. Um, I won't promise it, but I might say that we are um, possibly coming up with a shield for these because the shield size fits well with these. So maybe look for a shield in the next few weeks. Um, but these are great. They're real easy to use on their own. If you've never used a segment, seven segment display, um, you basically have these um, pins on the back and they just control segments of the display and by hooking them together in various ways, you can create the different letters and numbers that you need. Um, so they're relatively easy to use and there's a lot of libraries out there for Arduino to show you how to do this. So 
look at the data sheet, look at the schematic, and just figure out you know where everything goes. Uh, we hooked up this little demo in a few minutes just to show you how they light up. So first up, we've got the classic red here. You can see the red is um, probably the brightest of the bunch. Um, I'm sure you can adjust this a little bit, but generally speaking, the red is going to be the brightest of the bunch. Here we've got the classic yellow-orange going on. It's a little orangey, about the same brightness as the red, maybe slightly, slightly dimmer. So this is the classic green that you might be familiar with from alarm clocks and microwaves and things like that. It's not quite as um, bright as the others, but still very readable. And we've got the very pretty white. Um, it's a little bit of a bluish white. It's still very nice nonetheless. We've got the blue. The blue is actually pretty darn bright. Um, a lot of blues are kind of dimmer, but this one's actually really bright and nice. So there you go. I would like to say that all of these are shot under, you know, all these studio lights. So with the lights off in a more normal condition, they do appear a lot brighter. It's just really hard to have all the studio lights competing with the display at the same time. Um, so hopefully that gives you a better idea of, you know, how big these things are and what the colors look like. and. Hey, you might get some ideas on using these in your next project. So there you have it, a lot of light up goodies for your Halloween project. I hear there's something called Halloween coming up and people like to use lights in costumes. So check out the seven segment displays, check out the self-changing LEDs, and check out the Bear Conductive paint pen as well as the Bear Conductive kits that we have on the website. And we'll see you again next week with more products and uh, maybe a demonstration or two. So we'll see you again next week.